In this video, we're going to have a quick talk with James Yeager from Tactical Response about the top three things the average person can do to keep themselves protected in today's society. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. I'm here with James Yeager from Tactical Response and the YouTube channel James Yeager. James, first of all, thanks for taking time to talk to us, man. I really appreciate it. Easy day, Brian. We're here at like a YouTube conference thing, and James was kind enough to take a minute. And we're going. To, um, James has got a really big background in personal protection. He has a really big and very comprehensive training facility up in Tennessee, right? Mm -hmm. uh, kind of between Nashville and Memphis. Yep. And Tactical Response teaches a whole lot of people from all walks of life how to protect themselves with a firearm. And today we're going to talk about the top three things that three tips you can give just to the average person, uh, whether firearm related or otherwise, just to help protect themselves in today's world because there's a lot of risk out there now as we all know. You look, you can't turn on the TV without seeing something bad happening. Yep. Um, awareness, alertness, aggressiveness. So basically <clears throat> being aware of your surroundings, then if there's a problem, alerting to that problem and recognizing it as a problem and then making an aggressive action. So that could mean that you smell smoke, you see a flame, and you get your family immediately out of the building, uh, or it could be you're walking down the street and you see a group of uh, disenfranchised youths, and you decide to walk a different direction instead of crossing their path. So, you know, a lot of times, Brian, as you know, people kind of think about the, uh, uh, what, what should I buy or have with me, but uh, the final weapon is the brain, all else is supplemental. And, uh, and so that's what I would tell everybody is if you just, if you just walk out of your house and just be aware, it's going to, you're going to have a better life. You'll be a safer pedestrian. You'll be a safer driver. You know, and, and certainly you, we can talk about firearms and stuff. But just like your airbag in your car, if you need your airbag or your seatbelt, you made some mistakes to get there. It's the same with a gun. If you actually pull your gun out, you've made some mistakes. And so I'd rather go back and talk about you know treating those, inoculate, inoculating you against those mistakes, so we never have to use that airbag. Yes, and so. You see so many people these days, you know, walking around with their cell phone like this. That's just like asking. To me, that's just asking for. for you're walking into. I mean, something simple as walking into a phone pole, or something simple as, as criminals. And what I've read, I'm not very experienced, but they look for people like that, and, and they look for the weakest. So we are hunters. We have binocular vision. Our eyes are on the front of our head. Food has eyes on the side of its head. Hunters have this posture. Food has this posture. It is, it, is very, it is very primal that when we see somebody with their head down, we are hunters. They look like food. And people get attacked purely, and it doesn't matter how big you are, if you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. If you look like food, you will be eaten. It's because predators, people with that predatory mindset, they're looking for that. And so I think a lot of people have this, and I see it in comments on YouTube, this, this macho attitude like, you know, I'll just do this and I'll just do that. <laughs> yeah, right. But like you said, that everything from a survival situation to a, um, a self-defense situation, it, it, start, it doesn't just happen. <laughs> it just, it, it's kind of like a well, snowball. So your survival is on purpose. You try, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a so. catchy name, uh, you know, but uh, yeah, it, it, there has to be a plan. And uh, it, and it could be simple enough as my plan today is to not get mugged. So when you leave your house, you're just aware of what's going on around you. And if you've got children or other people that you're responsible for, you're in essence a bodyguard. And a bodyguard's job is to avoid conflict. And uh, you know, so you know, it, it's all down to you win every gunfight you're not in. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's a really good saying. So. Uh, how can people learn more about tactical response and, and tell, can you tell just a little bit about the, the types of training you offer? We teach shooting stuff, so pistol, rifle, shotgun, long range stuff, um, and um, you know, and it's, it's, it's all with the firearms the last resort, but when it's time, we teach you to be aggressive with your response. And so uh, we don't really teach what's called you know, self-defense. We didn't pick the fight, they picked the fight. Uh, we teach something called self-offense. Like, like there was a line in the sand, you crossed it, and now you're getting everything I got as hard as I can give it to you. Because, and I think it's a, maybe it's a, it's a sports saying, but the best defense is a good offense. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And so you react, and you have a slogan that you use to sign off your videos, I think, don't you? Yeah. I go, this is Jim Jager with Tap Response, reminding you that your responsibility to be ready for the fight never ends. I like that. That's, that's very, very accurate. So, James, thanks for taking time. I really appreciate it. And I really encourage you to go check out James's channel. It's, um, 
It's different. <laughs> You'll like it, I think. Jack, it he calls it like he sees it. Mature content. Don't let your kids watch it. <laughs> but it's really, really good information if you're interested in, in learning about waves, not just about gear stuff, but learning about thought processes and philosophies in, into how to keep yourself and your family protected. Um, James is, is just very good at that, and I think he does a great job. I'm looking forward to hopefully getting up to his school and, and taking some classes and sharing those with you. There's no hope. You will either do it uh, or yeah, you will not. Okay. You made me quote Star Wars. That you, there is either do, there, there's no try, there's okay, only do yeah. or do not. Yeah, yeah you're right. quote. So you need to be looking forward to seeing the videos when I come up to the training. So, and so anyway, hope this has been very helpful. Once again, I'll put a link to James's channel below and to Tactical Response. Uh, as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. You can check out another video right here. If you're not subscribed, please click down in the corner right down there and do that so we, my kids can really get that little play button. They'll think that's really cool. And once again, my name's Brian. Thanks for watching. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.